Today I'm block printing needlebook covers with mushrooms. I decided to use a brown ink for all of them. My first step is to do a test print of the mushrooms on the back of the cover. So that's what I did here. Looks good. So I can flip it over and get started on the rest. Each mushroom is stamped on individually and I choose where I put them as I go. You can see here that sometimes I move them around a little bit deciding where they should go. Printing them this way means that each needlebook cover is completely unique and it keeps it interesting for me while I'm working. Today I printed three needlebook covers and two larger book covers, which I'm really excited to show you what I'm going to make those into.